Jesse Lee Peterson is a far-right conservative activist and radio host, and he has some interesting thoughts on the issue of Jim Crow laws that he wants to share with us. It was wrong during the so-called civil rights movement when they forced private white businesses like cafes and restaurants and things like that, when they allowed black people to do sit-ins on private white businesses, those folks who did not want black people in there, those people had the right to that because they decided that they were going to get up, they were going to go out and start a business. They were going to use their own money, their own time, their own hard labor, their work, and they decided, I'm going to start a business and I only want white people in there. They had a right to that, and it was wrong to let blacks do sit-in on private businesses. I didn't think that that was the right thing, and I grew up in Alabama. I was uh, grew up under the Jim Crow laws. I still thought that that was wrong. You can't take away someone else's freedom like that just to make someone else feel good. A black man supporting Jim Crow laws. I think I've seen it all now. This is an argument I've gotten in many times with actually a, a lot of libertarians. Now, you guys know I agree with libertarians on maybe about 40% of the issues. But this is one of those issues where I just I roll my eyes and I can't understand for the life of me how they can take this position. Because there's no taking away of freedom to say you can't do arbitrary discrimination. Nobody's saying that if somebody comes into your store and they knock over shelves that you can't kick them out. Nobody's saying if somebody comes in your store and starts screaming curse words at everybody and starts threatening people that you can't kick them out. Nobody's saying that there isn't a, a, a myriad or plethora of circumstances that if somebody comes in and they do X that you can't kick them out. All we're saying is you can't do arbitrary discrimination. So in other words, if somebody can't help something about themselves, for example, if somebody comes in and they're disabled, you can't say, get out, you're in a wheelchair. The fuck is wrong with you? You can't say, oh, you have Down syndrome? Get out. You can't say, oh, you're a woman? Get out. You can't say, oh, you're gay? Get out. You look slightly effeminate. Get out of my store. They can't help their sexuality. They can't help if they're disabled. They can't help their gender. They can't help if they are black. They can't help if they're Asian. These are all things... See, to me, when you give other examples, you start to understand why that's so ridiculous. Because societies have irrational beliefs. A lot of people within given societies have irrational beliefs. So one of those things is racism. There are a lot of white people in the South, call it what it is, who don't like black people. But that's very similar to somebody saying for no rational reason whatsoever, I don't like redheads. Get out of my store because you have red hair. Get out of my store because your fingernails are too long. Get out of my store because, I don't know, you have blue eyes. I don't like people with blue eyes. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. Just to pick out something about somebody on this arbitrary basis, because of your personal taste, silly or not, and say, I'm going to act based off those. Well, let's stop and think about this. If somebody's driving through the South, if a black family is driving through the South and their car breaks down, and all the gas stations in this particular rural area of the South have racist owners, what happens? They're fucked. They're fucked. They can't get gas. They can't get help from anybody. Because that's the situation that you just allowed with your backwards crazy laws where you said Jim Crow is alright by me. Let anybody reject anybody else for any reason whatsoever, including arbitrary reasons and biological reasons, things that they can't help. It's, it's beyond unreasonable because it's, empirically it's a dangerous idea. Empirically it's dangerous. And they can live in this world of theory all they want, that everything is a restriction on, on liberty, but no! There are some things that regulate a purely capitalist system that they really are just solely efficient regulation, smart regulation. That doesn't mean there's not bad regulations, that doesn't mean there's not regulations that go too far, but in an instance like this, it's clearly a good regulation, and the overwhelming majority of the American people now understand that. The only people that don't seem to understand that are 
crazy old Southern white racists and Jesse Lee Peterson. <laughs>